wanted to give you guys a little shop with me video. I thought this would be fun. Look at these two amazing Ralph Lauren lamps that I found. I found two of them, so you could have put them on each nightstand. Those are really pretty. And then check out this really cool horse picture I found. I have been looking for something like this for so long. Snow really loves horses, and I thought this would be so cute in her new room for the new house. So as I'm here, I'm looking around. There's so many amazing things. I had a really hard time not wanting to buy all of this stuff. So I saw this mirror, it was like $70, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love that so much, but I didn't realize, wait, because I come back to this mirror, there's two of them. Oh, two of those mirrors. I, it took everything in me not to buy both of these because I wanted to put them behind Snow's nightstands in her room to give her this like beautiful, sophisticated, like princess room that she wants. And oh, it was just really hard for me to, to not buy those, but I didn't buy them. So I really hope they go to somebody that will love them as much as I would. And then I saw those two really cool lamps. They're so expensive though, especially when I'm used to shopping at the thrift store. Okay, then I saw quilts. And I don't know if you're like me, but I literally have to touch everything. Like. I want to feel all of the things. It's one of the reasons I love shopping in real life and not just online because I want to feel the texture and the fabric and see how soft it is. And I don't know, I'm kind of weird. Sometimes I'll smell things because it has like a funny smell. I don't want to buy it. <laughs> is anyone else like that or is that just me? I know I'm definitely like that with food. Like if I am somewhere, I always like smell the food first. Um, maybe that's like my caveman instincts. Oh, look how cool this photo was. This was like this awesome, definitely not the vibe we're going for, uh, for that like surf photo, but it like kind of reminded me of Travis. So I thought it was a cool photo. Um, home goods, like if you ever go to the home goods in your area, if you have one where you live, these were really cool too. I thought those would look really, really cool in like the bathroom or a kitchen um, or even like a hallway, those little round prints um or frames i thought those were really unique and then look at this cat one uh so anyway now i'm just showing you a bunch of like random stuff we have lily Pulitzer at home goods how crazy is that so anyway i was um gonna tell you that if you're shopping at home goods and you see something that you like you have to get it because i can tell you from experience that there have been things that i was in love with and i'm like okay i'm gonna come back and get it tomorrow I go back the next day and it is gone and it's not like in home goods like if you go to a couple different ones they might not have the same stuff and so a lot of times i always say well not a lot of times i always say look how pretty this rug is again not the style i'm going for but it is really pretty so i always say if you see something in home goods that you like you gotta get it while you're there uh it's kind of like this thrift store or other discount stores you know they don't carry a lot of stuff in bulk so Okay, if you guys go to Home Goods or like if you're shopping for this kind of stuff, what do you, oh my gosh. I found this pillow and I was obsessed with it. I don't know what it was. It's a pillow, but, and then this pillow, oh, I was like, I love this pillow. Put them in my cart. Yes, please, you're coming home with me. Not even on sale. It's like a $25 pillow. Who buys $25 pillows? Oh my gosh. Wait till you see if I actually buy these or not because... I was debating because Travis tells me, do not you dare, don't you dare bring home any more throw pillows, but we're designing and decorating and remodeling a brand new house, um, or sorry, it's not a brand new house, but it's a brand new house to us. And so I want to make sure that, you know, I'm happy and I decorated that way and I want it. I saw these books. I thought these were really cute for the kids, but I didn't get them because it's really hard for me to buy new books when I'm at the thrift store all the time and they're like 25 cents or a dollar, you know? So it's hard for me to buy like full price stuff right now. Um, but man, they had so many good things. Like, look at this. This would be so cool on like an entry table or in your kitchen or even in your bedroom to like display stuff. If you put it in your entryway, you could put like your keys on it or your garage remotes. Um, I don't know, so many good things. Look at all this stuff. I'm not like good at interior design. At least I don't think so. <laughs> but I like shopping for home decor. Is it anyone else like like shopping for home decor but not good at actually decorating? So what I like to do is I will 
by little pieces that I love. And then I will ask my designer if she can incorporate them into the design and put them somewhere really cool. So I am planning on using a designer, the same designer that we used for our cabin for our new primary house that we're going to be living in. Um, totally different like style. We're going for that like French country, you know, um, farmhouse, antique, primitive, you know, lived in type of look. And so, yeah, I'll try to, in a different video, uh, show you guys examples of like what I want because I've made a whole Pinterest board of what I want my house to look like. And it's not your traditional looking house. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I really love it. So I think it'll be really good for like a timeless look. It's not like modern. It's I don't know. It's just really cool. And then they have this whole little section here that was so fun. I love that eye mask. It was so 70s. Oh, I was obsessed with this like weight scale. I don't know why. It's not like it's a functional scale. At least I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. But then I saw one up above. I'll show you in a second. Um, but man, I just loved all these little trinkets. <laughs> it's a good thing Travis wasn't there. He would have totally ruined my good time shopping, finding all these fun things. I don't know. I really liked that scale. And then there were just so many amazing things I couldn't everywhere I looked it was like oh well, that's cool oh my gosh this is cool <laughs> it was just like a really good home goods store for me I love that this little pouch said be present sometimes we need to be reminded to be present and in the moment and I don't I know I definitely do so I liked that but I again not my style I'm trying to like stick with my style and then I found another one of these Martin Luther King books and I was like mm, maybe God's trying to tell me something <laughs> Maybe I should be getting these books. And then I found a Rosa Parks one. Um, they were on sale for like a dollar cheaper. That's not my kind of sale, guys. My kind of sale, again, is like a dollar book, not a $5 book. So, like, I could have bought five books for my kids for the price of one, so I don't buy it. Shop at thrift stores. It's sustainable. It's good for the environment. It's good for your wallet and your bank account. And you get such good deals, and it's like a fun little treasure hunt. All right. Look at these lamps. The lips are so cute. Also like those light things. I found these journals. I really wanted to buy these because I'm journaling a lot more lately. Actually, I'm in between medications. I'm switching another medication again. <laughs> it's been a nightmare over here. But I've been like very, uh, blah. I've had like no really motivation. I haven't been working out. Like I was doing so good at the beginning of the year and had like all these really good goals. And then the medication like really messed me up. And then a new medication messed me up. And so now I'm just like, I'm struggling but in the next couple days I'm going to be starting the new medication and then hopefully you will see Shannon come back to life because I have not really been myself lately but that's okay I loved how beautiful this candle was I loved like the glass and um oh my gosh then I found this huge ass candle <laughs> so big and it smelled like heaven oh it smelled so good I wish Travis would let me light candles in the house. I mean, if, I, if they're soy candles or like, you know, those natural ones, he'll let me light them. Um, but usually he bans the candles, so throw them away, not tell me. <laughs> but I love like the house is all so cozy and I love candles because they make everything so cozy, you know, in your house. Look the ambiance of the light. Ooh, I love this. It's a spoon rest. I'm like totally an adult now buying spoon rests. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, definitely an old lady now um anyway that was really cool $4.99 this is a really cool soap dispenser I really liked this I was like this is so unique I've never seen anything like this before and it was on sale but don't worry didn't get it it's not my vibe that I'm going for for my home design and decor I can't wait to show you guys what I'm looking for because you're like wow Shannon none of this stuff is your vibe no it's like I don't know that French country do you guys know what I'm talking about <laughs> it's like it looks like Someone lived in the house like a long ass time ago. That's kind of what I've been going for. Um, okay, clearance. Oh, I'm okay. So this is definitely my vibe. I could buy like 12 of these and put them in the kitchen and that would be what my vibe is going for right now. And I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, I actually really love all the wood. It makes me feel like very cozy and natural and organic. And I'm trying to bring more of that into the new house. Um, so I really liked all these like wood pieces and also how I can incorporate a lot of these things into the kitchen, what I could use them for. And I'm trying to find things that would be 
um, good for multiple uses. So when I buy stuff, unless it's like something I'm doing every day, you know, at like a cutting board, obviously you would use every day if you click a lot. But also want to be able to use it for display and, you know, to serve food on. So things like that, those like wooden cutting boards, you can use them for a lot of different things. So that's why I would like to buy those. <laughs> I hope that that makes sense. I really loved these um, measuring cups and little measuring spoons. They're really pretty. I like that bold brassy color. Um, and then what else? Fun stuff. They already had Valentine's Day stuff out. It's so crazy. They put the holiday stuff out so early these days. I thought this would be really cool at the, the end of a bed, you know, like a little bench at the end of your bed. And then, I don't know, I definitely have an obsession, by the way, don't judge my hair, because clearly we were not having a good hair day, but it was like really rainy out, and the hair, my hair is naturally curly, so it was doing things. I found this pillow, I'm looking at the price, I'm like, Ooh, this, I think I'm definitely taking home with me, hugging it, loving on it. I'm such a weirdo. If you will saw me in the store, they're probably like, this guy is so weird. That's me. And as you can see, those other pillows are gone. And I put that pillow in because I ended up putting the other pillows back because I'm like, this is crazy. It's just too much. So now, as you can see, my little haul is waiting for my mom. But I had some really cool stuff in the store. I'm definitely going to be coming back. I'm most excited about this horse painting. I'm like, so excited i totally scored on that i've been looking for something like that for so long and they had one here and that was it so super excited and there's mama she scored some cool stuff too all right my mom just pulled up for me so that i don't get my painting messed up because it's raining all right i'm gonna do all this with one hand Truck. Successful shopping trip. <laughs> uh. oh, okay, where are we going to next? We're going to, what did we say? TJ Maxx or yeah, TJ sushi? Maxx. This is a fun shopping day with mom. Ooh, we just had the best lunch at this place called Lemongrass. It was so good. And I was joking with my mom because it's raining outside. We're like running to the car. <laughs> like, us little country girls, we're getting used to the country with the rain because we're not used to all this rain being from LA, but it's fun. Also, I got some really cool stuff. My mom got some cool stuff, so we'll do a little haul later when we get home. But um, right now, we're going to go to we're going to go to a thrift store, and then we're going to head Turn home. Right on West Lamar Alexander Parkway. But we went to Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and now we're going to go to a thrift store. So we'll show you everything we got when we get home. Found a really cool thrift store, and legend says they have stuff for 25 cents in there, so we're gonna see what they've got. All right, that thrift store was a success. I will show you guys what I got. And now we were gonna head home, but then we saw this and thought, let's go check it out. So fun shopping with you today, Mama. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're having fun. Cozy fireplace on. And Snow is about to get her present. <gasps> what do you think? What do you think, Snow? And here's your other one. Do you love it? Do you feel how soft it is? Wipe your hand on the napkin and then you can feel how soft your new pajama dresses are. Mm -hmm. They're so beautiful, Snow. Aren't they soft? 
You want to take a bath, Dad? Mm -hmm. What do you say to Mommy Joy? Oh, that one. This one with the hearts? Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. But I don't like that slimy. You should try a bite of it. It's so delicious. Mommy had it today. And Mommy Joy had one today. And it it's is... It's gross. It's yeah. not gross. I totally forgot this was in here. All right, let's make that. And then I've got both my starters over here. That's my mom's, by the way. <laughs> not mine. Uh, this was one of the things that she got today from Home Goods, her little butter dish, which is super cute. And then she also got, I don't know what her other thing is, but. Oh, she got these big mason jars from Home Goods also, which were really cool. She's gonna plan to use them to store chips and cereal and stuff like that. And then I'll show you guys what I got here in a second. We'll do a little haul, but this little one just came in from riding your bike. Guess what I have for you, sushi. It's gonna go potty. Oh, you're gonna go potty? All right, here, mommy, we'll take you. Oh, he's more excited for the sushi. Yeah, we got sushi for you, buddy. Oh, he's so excited. We need to get him some soy sauce. What do you think? Sit down. I like fish. I know you like fish. Yeah. All right, let's get you some. Are you still using your soy sauce or can Storm use this? Mine. Yours? Okay, I'll get you some of your own. Okay, Stormy. Oh, can I grab this really quick? Soy sauce. All right, buddy. Oh, oh yummy. Okay, I'm gonna put it here, and that way you can dip your sushi in there. But you gotta lean over. Uh, but look, know. usually we use our hands or chopsticks for. Mmm, isn't that delicious? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I know you love it, huh? Put it up there. I missed you, buddy. I want a fork. Here, I'll get you a fork for that. Let's eat this first, though, because this will go bad if we don't eat it right away. Isn't this the best sushi? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Yeah, sister doesn't like fish. You do, though, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You wild baby. Here, dip it in the soy sauce, and then it'll taste even better. Swallow. Can you believe that my two-year-old literally eats <laughs> salmon just like this? He prefers it over, like, the avocado rolls and everything else. Well, you're not getting that from the dishwasher, are you? No. Oh. Hey, don't, hey, don't play with your food. That's not good manners, okay? Uh, your mom made you a pancake thing this morning. I saw that. That's so sweet. Your mom, Let me see your new dress. <gasps> it's so beautiful. Ooh. Here, take a picture. Okay. Mm. Oh, I love you so much, my you sweet are. girl. Mommy, I want to do a picture. Okay, well, I'm doing a video right now. With you and your cute... Your cute little nightgown. <laughs> Shopping haul. All right, I'm so excited to show you guys what I got. I went to a bunch of different stores. Went from Home Goods to a thrift store where things were like 25 cents. So I'm gonna show you guys very quickly what I got. This, I'm probably most excited about this right here. This is something that I have been looking for for so long, and I am obsessed with this. Horse painting, it was $29.99, so scored that. Very excited for that one. And then I found this really cool, like, brass spoon rest. Uh, this was $4.99. And I'm excited for my new kitchen, so got that. And then I had to get this pillow. This was not on sale, it was $24.99, but obsessed with it. And when you're at Home Goods, if you see something you like, you have to get it because if you go back, it won't be there. So I've learned that lesson the hard way. Also, don't judge me for those bags. I will be reusing them. Okay, next up, TJ Maxx. Did a little damage in there, but I really needed some new stuff, so 
here we go. I got this really, really beautiful, uh, like, I don't know what color this is considered. It's not cream, it's like a, I don't know. I don't know what, what taupe? Let me know what color this is in the comments. Originally, this is $180, this DKNY jacket. Um, I got it for $59.99. Maybe it's, maybe it's the TV. All right, I'm gonna show you how cute. Yeah, I think it's the TV. How cute this is. So it is very cold here in Tennessee. And this was very comfortable. And I figured, I don't really like buying new clothes, but my mom convinced me that I needed to have some nice pieces. So I got this, she said it's very cute on me. We trust her because we know I want the best style. So I just get whatever my mom tells me to get and I am very happy with this purchase. I really, really love it. It even has a hood. It was raining today. I wish I would have had a jacket with a hood. So yeah, got this, happy with it. I think it's really cute and I'll be wearing it a lot. So I got that and then she was trying to get me to buy like a bunch of stuff. But I was like, no, I don't need all of this stuff. So anyway, I bought way more than I probably would have at all with her. Um, this was $24.99. And again, this is like a warm coat. I like these neutral colors and like that those like mauvey light pink colors. This. A little try on haul. Again, she makes me get like tight fitted clothes because she says they look better on me. So again, listen to my mama. Um, ooh, this is one of my favorite ones. This blue color I thought was really pretty. It's super soft. This is $19.99. This is all from TJ Maxx, by the way. I didn't already mention that. Here is this one. So again, a lot of like workout stuff, but stuff that I can also wear just like every day, not just working out. Let's just be real. Like in sweats and a sweatshirt most of the time. So, um, and then, oh, this was the softest. This was $16.99, this like white sweater, but it is so soft and comfortable. You guys are here. Um, it also had the thumb holes, which I don't know. I love thumb holes on sweaters. But it's so soft and comfy and cozy, and I can wear it with jeans or leggings. So I really liked that. And then, last but not least, from TJ Maxx, I got this sweater, which was. $24.99, but by far, okay. I don't know, it's kind of like grandma-y, but I really loved it. And this, it's so soft, it's so cozy. I don't know, I love it. It just made me very happy. I loved the color, I loved the texture, and yeah, I don't know, I just love it. So I will leave this on for the rest of the haul. Um, okay, the last place that we went to, was a thrift store that I found and it's in the, hi cutie, you wanna come say hi? Don't touch it. Oh, oh, careful, <laughs> come here. You're so cute, I love you so much. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna give you all my kisses. <laughs> hey, I got you something from the thrift store, do you wanna see what I got you? Yeah. Sit down here and I'll show you what I got you. I found two things for him. So this thrift store, in the reviews it said they had stuff for 25 cents. I was like, no way, that can't be real. It was real. This whole bag I'm about to show you, everything was only $5. So we got this sweater for Storm Dean. What do you think? Isn't this so adorable? I thought this was so cute. And then we also found this really cozy little shirt for you, buddy. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. Feel how soft it is. Ooh. So I got those two things for him. Oh, you want to put it on? Oh, this looks so cute on you, buddy. 
Wow, it fits you perfect. What do you think? Look, you can look in the in the camera and you can see what it looks like. Isn't it so cute? Yeah. <laughs> so cute. All right, so anyway, we got that shirt, which is adorable on him, and this little sweater. And then I got all of these like cloth napkins. There's even a hand embroidered like pinky. Okay, this is like so exciting. And then this was 50 cents. How cool is this? There's so many things like you can use this for. Um, and I'm just getting really excited to decorate the new house, but this was 25 cents. You can even see, or sorry, 50 cents. Um, but it is hand embroidered. And I love, it's like 100% cotton. I love stuff like this because, I don't know, it's just old. You can tell it's been stitched by hand and it's just beautiful. So I like using it as like a hanky or, you know, to blow the kids' noses, to use as napkins. Um, oh, wow, do you find something to play with? Here's another one. Like, look how pretty this is. And it's so soft and you use as reusable napkins. Um, this whole set was like 25 cents for, it's supposed to be three napkins in here. Yeah. Sorry for the noise. I know it's kind of loud. It was a set of three, but I just, I love these because we won't be using, these are all hand embroidered. Like, are you kidding? I don't know if I'm the only one that's obsessed with stuff like this, but it makes me very happy. It's really eco-friendly, saves you a ton of money, and it's just fun because they all have a story behind them. And I like to think like some, you know, someone's grandma like made these by hand and I don't know, it's really cool. And then more of these really soft, these are all 100% cotton napkins to be able to use for like, instead of paper towels, you know, like just rags, I can put this over when I'm baking bread. Oh my gosh. They're in I think there's someone's initials on them. Look at that. I don't know what it says. What does that say? AJ? I don't know. I can't see what it says. But anyway, then I got more of these like cloth napkins. Again, really good quality. You could tell they're like old, but they're. Oh, careful, buddy. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. 100% cotton. And then. I usually don't like this color, but again, these were all 100% cotton. They're super soft. I thought they'd be great for like Christmas time or Valentine's Day, you know, to have special colored cloth napkins. So yeah, that was my haul today. I'm very excited. I'm gonna wash all these and put them away. But I think my favorite thing was definitely this horse picture. Let me know what your favorite thing was. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and I hope to see you in the next video. Mwah.